I literally woke up one morning in April with the whole Goodfellas of Baltimore concept just flashed before me. It woke me up. I believe Baltimore is trying to find its balance. Over uh, 100,000 people out of a job right now in the community. It's all about communication. And then reaching out to the programs, it, it, reaching out to the centers and shelters and finding out what their needs are and addressing what those needs are or trying to address them. So it takes all of us coming together to help the community, help Baltimore help its own people. Goodfellas of Baltimore, it's all about helping people. It's about inspiring people to help each other as well. And so we're not the solution. We really aren't. Uh, we're a catalyst. I, I hope that we can become an inspiration. We help a different family every week and we help a different charity every week in the Baltimore area and we invite the community, individuals, corporate sponsors, celebrities, to come along with us and, and be a part of the solution. This first episode of Goodfellas of Baltimore is helping the Kiosi family family whose house was devastated by fire uh, in the summertime. The night of the fire, uh, she had said she smelled smoke or something cooking. We just got out as quickly as we could. The scariest thing was making sure that everyone was out safely. We were standing across the street watching the building burn up so badly. As soon as we went out the front door, the flames and the heat was so intense. That's what I remember the most. Before the fire, there was a lot more room to move around. Like now we're in pretty much, all 10 of us are in one apartment, one section of the house. We were out of the house for about a week. We had to stay in a hotel that very next day, the very next day after the fire, we were back here and we had to start to clean up. Well, two of my children go to the Crossroads School, which is um, part of the Living Classrooms Foundation. Really try to inspire, not just here at school, but also with the families. Mm -hmm. No excuses and commitment to quality and perseverance and honor and integrity. Mm -hmm. Not just doing their classwork, but also when they go home and they're working with their parents at this mission to get the kids not only bought into their own education, but bought into being better citizens has really been uh, successful in the last few years. To be a good fella, you have to bring things to the table. You've got to bring sponsors. You've got to bring uh, people that want to help. You've got to pound the phones. Now, these are guys, seven guys, who are running their own businesses. I, I hope that we can become an inspiration. With all that they've been through, not just the fire, but, but other challenges in life, uh, they're truly special, uh, amazing. They're a family that gives continuously to their community. And uh, they need every, every helping hand they can get. I mean, they deserve it, they really do. And they're not asking for it. They're not complaining about their circumstances. I haven't even heard one complain about the fire. They're just a, a family that is truly special. and. Uh, Really, they embody Charm City. <laughs>